Welcome everybody, here's your strategy wolf and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 and welcome back to our Lords of Li uh, Diffid down here in Southwest Wales in the near year 986 and I'm quite off surprised we're actually recording this episode because for a moment I thought it was the last time, last turn or last episode since uh, our kind of dissolving Valesian Kingdom has been attacked and Diffid was the target by one of the, um, by actually our new alliance partner Dumpfbach um, whose yeah, daughter is now married to our uh, player Aaron's son. Yeah, but uh, you, I think you, through intervention of our almost friend, and here we go. Um, <laughs> apparently there was a succession also up here. So our friend in Alba is gone, which makes things, of course, a little bit more uh, tricky again. He was, he died, okay, of old age couple of months ago without me knowing he just initiated the war up here in Ireland uh, against our brother's territory but that was probably his last act and who do we have here is he somehow Kathmar related to him mm. oh, it's some, some of the Alpine lines it's always hard to find who is who in the end so apparently we've got a new Alban king that we do enjoy, but we don't have a strong connection. Let's see, he's diligent, compassionate, generous, herbal. Yeah, she's not such a, let's see, warmongery person, at least at the first view. Let's see if how he does that. Um, at the moment we are in war with Alban, also with Ormond, so Leinster is gone. But yeah, we lost a lot of people at our court. We lost a lot. A lot of people were um, in prison. So, for example, our daughter, who's um, who's him actually, Lord Elchat McAlma. Yeah, this 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 count over here, but he won't release her right now. So yeah, we've seen really bad times, and Stifford is, is at the moment just sieged and has been sieged basically five times within the last. 20 years probably so the control is zero and that's why we're making no money at all um yeah we have to see how we survive in here in this situation and we are not, don't have too many resources to do so sometimes we need luck and so far we've had some let's see where, where the fate is taking us but the first a game of dice in the market i see a crowd gathered around a man hosting a dice game my lord lord liverge an honor to see you here he grins care to join us for a game or two of dice Surely a bet of few coins won't be a problem for you. Let me watch first, I say. Afterwards, I observe various gamblers trying to win money, but not uh, to a whale. It seems the host has a lot of good fortune and blessed by God, or so he claims, as the dice usually rolls in his favor. Would rather not bother it. Um, am I a gambler? Bit, or a lot, or... Let's see how we act. We think we, we are calm, temperate. No, actually we're calm and temperate, but we're superstitious. But gambling is nothing nothing to do with superstition. No, I would rather not bother with this right now. I think this makes more sense. We have more urgent things to do. Oh yeah, by the way, I forget. Uh, also, we started a um, action against our leash our, about the young duke over here. But we do somehow... Why do we get plus 10 for him bonding with the wet nurse? Oh yeah, same culture opinion. Maybe he's kind of a good man and he's 14 right now, so maybe we have to stop this actually. It doesn't make sense anymore. He's our friend, but also he is imprisoned right now. So no belief. This is a faction I don't want to keep up. The question is, can we somehow get out of this our daughter the okay out of the situation and join the Alban. the way of the axe the endless clash of metal on metal the chafing on armor the sting of sweat it is a dance that is familiar and is exhausting to have my axe attack dodge defend and repeat maybe it would be do me good to practice my skill with, with another weapon you me and my trusted axe will not part or let's end the monotony and hand me another weapon. Um, monot monotony. Okay. Let's roll the dice once again. I think this just makes sense here. And we roll a one. No, me and my trusted axe will not part. That's okay. 
What was it? We are getting becoming a respected expert. Okay, prowess plus two. Oh, this is new. We can ask our head of faith for golden. I think I will do this actually. Uh, since we are in a miserable situation, he must have seen that that the lo I mean, maybe not the Pope directly, but maybe some local people. And I think I will also pay definitely to get my daughter free. It's important. Half brother. He's like. He was castrated, okay. Um, but we do like him, we also pay for him. And nephew. Uh, we have to do this event first. Lessons from the past. Though I will surely see many battlefields before I meet my maker, my library holds tales of war from a hundred lifetimes. I have recently acquired a tome on the great battle of the Catalonian plains, as well as the time-worn scroll written in some ancient language. Who knows what forgotten secret it holds? Read the newer tome or attempt to translate the old scroll? Um, ooh. And once again, how are we feeling about this these days? We roll a four, so attempt to translate the old scroll. Let's see if we can do it. 65%. And of course we fail and <laughs> get overwhelmed by stress. Lovely. Uh, he's she's free, he's free, and also let's pay for my nephew. We are overwhelmed by stress, surely. Uh, night falls on a single candle, illuminating the script before me becomes shorter by the hour. When it flickers one last time and leaves me in darkness, the scroll secrets remain undiscovered. Let's, I will have, I'm gonna push this time 95% I feel like we are close and also we want to get there no one of the times where overrule the not the dice but we're not gonna roll the dice but we do have the imposter breakdown um I feel like I'm not worthy of the Lord of different do other rulers doubt themselves I doubt myself I try to be a good temperate lord but my mouth seems to water constantly everything makes me hungry why I'm so damnable uncharacteristically hungry? Damn this universe for raising one so poor as me to such heights. Um, and yeah, especially in a uh, stressful situation, I'm gonna roll the dice. So let's just see equal chances. And we roll a one. I need to be alone to think about it. So we become reclusive. Which uh, diplomacy minus two, stewardship minus one, but stress loss goes up. I kind of a calm and temperate person. It fits him very well, to be honest, that he's not the most. Uh, yeah, outgoing idea. And I think... Um, I think... Okay, let's do this first. Lessons from the past. Even with the help of a dusty glossary, the scroll is reluctant to share its secrets, but I pressed on. As the night progresses, the most incredible story unfolds before me. In the Battle of Red Cliffs, the warlord Kao Kao changed his ships from stem to stern to combat sea sickness. A commander of the opposing Sun Liu forces, Hang Wai, saw his chance and sent a fine letter of surrender. Then he prepared a squadron of ships, filling them with kindling and oils, and let the wind carry them towards Kao Kao. As the crudest ships approached the enemy fleet, they were set ablaze, resulting in the fiery deaths of countless men. And are we going to focus on the translation or on the battle? For 20 years? Um, yeah, we're gonna go for the battle. We are warrior, not really the translation. That, uh, that is pretty clear in this case. And for 20 years, this is an awesome... Ooh, no penalties for crossing. I'm a really good commander these days. And first of all, we're going to seclude ourselves since this is what we, what's new to us and we want to do. Then um, we also have a martial perk and I think now we're going to go for organized march. And we, okay, I thought we were on chivalry focus. Now we stay actually on the strategy focus too. And I think we're going to... Yeah, first here, then maybe here, and then we shall see. It's not like we are aiming to push these strategies straight or something. Ransom, ransom, ransom. Okay, now he wants to resume. 
No, he. I'm not gonna pay for him actually. Who's that actually? Was he just? He was just some random courtier before. Okay. Decline. But actually, we have also. Oh, we have no position. Do we have somebody? Oh yeah. A point. I think these people should be out there. Wet nurse. No, not court tutor. My nephew. Okay. And maybe a seneschal. My half brother. Okay. Because we do have a problem with the control right now. Of course, this also increases our spendings. I mean, we do not have a problem with the control right now. We have no control in the end. Um, this must maybe a little bit too much, but okay. Who's she a fornicator? Well, uh, to be honest, uh, we don't care too much, so we pardon her. Few knights, yeah, we lost a couple of them. Actually, I can invite some. Uh, we don't have the money to hire them at these days, but... Yeah, at least we get some more people at our court. Accolades also, we don't have... Um... Tactician and Huntsmaster. Okay, let's have a quick look. I'm not a big fan of the accolades, by the way. I'm a little bit overwhelmed every single time with how they work, and they, uh, there's so many. I think I'm gonna get here the Knight of the Narcissus, Tactician and Disciplinarian. Okay. Create this one. And. Oh, at least this gives us also a martial life stack experience. This is quite nice. Oh, artifacts have low durability, which are those. Um, memory of Lord Livage. Seven years. I mean, this is a kind of nice one, right? Oh, 150 gold, yeah. And the pressed violet. Nah. Robbed, plundered, everything. Like his, I feel like he's quite a. And already the one died? What? Let's also get a worthy successor over here. I feel like he is actually kind of competent fighter, an honest man, a kind of positive figure, but in the end, luck has not really been loyal to him, so in, he lost so much so far. And yeah, our friend and uncle down here. Oh my god, why, uh, like, why didn't I get informed that I was playing too fast, maybe? Um, so our uncle and friend, Pity King Tostig, the Ledger, right? He died four years ago. Okay, this was our friend. So his son. Oh, okay. His, the main was Munster. Okay, that's interesting. And his grandson is in charge down here in Cornwall. So, and he's losing to Neustria. So Normandy, basically. And who's Githa, Tostic, daughter of Wessex? She's married to... <laughs> this is damn complicated. But she's the mother of Duke Huge of Neustria. Okay. So yes, yeah, so in the end, the... Oh, Normandy is going over the channel a little bit. That's what you can say. Coming... Uh, interesting. And child of my dynasty, Alice. Are my player... Ah, okay. My granddaughter. Is it his first daughter? Okay. Alice, why not? Yeah, they married also. He's wheezing. I see one eyed. <laughs> oh god, guys. The like these days it's not really things are going really bad over here. But let's see. Ridderich comes of age. Um with with his coming of age, my tutition of Ridderich has ended. He grew up and became a oh tough soldier, <laughs> a mediocre dude. And he's swollen joints. Oh my god, severe penalty. So why maybe this can gout ridden, maybe this can disappear soon. Hopefully. We should look actually for a good wife for him. Earldom of Derby. Oh, pretty strong. And it's even a ooh. Our sideline he we could establish at the moment. She's even the prime heir. Heiress, interesting. And a thousand men. Um Insignificant, but we're also not too significant in ourselves. How do we like? Uh, I think it's a good idea. She's. Let's go for it. Maybe we get a county for Ridderich in the end.
and can spread our dynasty a little bit. Okay, we've got a successor over here. And a couple of knights have arrived. Okay, these guys are actually freeing Differt. Amazing. But I think the war is anyways going to be over yeah, when they took Leinster. Which should be it for our brother also. Alright, so... And what? He wants to betroth my daughter, my friend, and... Yeah, well... She a little bit young for you. Social figure. Friends and foes, okay. He's such a... Yeah, but come on, uh, come on, Lord Edward, my daughter. She's 13, you're 69, and this would be your second wife. No, we're not. Uh, let's let's roll the dice how we feel about this. It's a little bit sick, so 1, 2, 3, we are going to do it. Uh, 4 to 6, we're not going to do it. And we roll a 1. I said we're going to do it, so okay, there we go. Have fun with my old friend. He's a wonderful person that will serve you very well as a husband. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sometimes roleplay ties you down, of course. And the next one is coming for the Lordship of Gwent again. Who is that in this case? Oh, this time not even from Alba, but from Quais. Oh, part of the West Frankian Kingdom. Okay. 2004, the man is sick. Also of the Morgan Wack Dynasty, wait a second, wasn't oh, the same as over here. Interesting. Yeah, then remain neutral in this case. And I didn't check how... How can we get independent from him in the end? And I mean, we love him, actually. This was just kind of insane. He's apparently also swaying us. And we can get independence for like two... Oh, we'd have to just to declare war directly on him. That's the trick. Okay. It might be an idea. Therese, because it's not like we don't we dislike him. And uh, this is something uh, yeah, I have to really think about. I'm not 100% convinced yet, but it might be the moment once his army is shattered to declare independence. I don't know if we would become just independent. Um, okay, become a wa direct vassal of Zian in this case. Um, there's the chance that then the AI, because I'm a the Euro vassal of the Hoiba that they would potentially she would give me back immediately. The overall idea is to get independent from her too, and dissolve base dissolve basically the Walesian kingdom. And somehow I this this would be lovely to know why, but he got a hook on me. Uh, okay, in this case, if he got a hook on me, I'm not gonna do it immediately because this. God, <laughs> this needs to be uh, like somehow considered. And like, unfortunately, really, I don't know. Is there anything where I can read in the history where the hook is coming from? Wait, my my, my sister Sandan bled out of the lengthy torture session. What what is happening, dude? <laughs> oh my God. These are really rough times recently, but let's. I we still wanted to find out what the hook is from. Uh, what he just died under mysterious circumstances. Okay, so our daughter is not betrothed anymore. That makes sense. I can't see where the hook is coming from, or can I still once again? My mother also has died. Okay. I was a little bit ago, so not not everything is recorded. Sick. Uh, smallpox, a killer in our midst. The curse of death has fallen upon my court. A case of smallpox has been discovered. My poor son Ritterich is fighting for his life. The taint possessing his flesh is a danger to us all. While he remains afflicted, no life at court is safe. The physician wants to know how my son should be treated. Oh, God. Critical penalty, okay, sick. Uh, mm, do no more than what is necessary, I think, because we are calm and temperate, yeah. Successful treatment, okay, good to know. By the way, we lost Lanestar for the family, but what happened to our brother? 
Our real brother. He still remains over there. Maybe he will come to our court. Yeah, he will. So let's... And yeah, we just thought there might be a good treatment. And we thought he might be the one delivering here, uh, spreading our dynasty a little bit here to somewhere in Derby. But no, he dies very young. Oh god, how could you do this to Ritterich? I have sinned. Why don't you punish me instead? He was blameless, my perfect son. Life had so much more in store for him. He died from the smallpox, yeah. Good to see, because also I feel like... Yeah, now the smallpox are gone since he's dead, okay? All bodies have all bodies have been properly disposed, uh, sure. My poor son. Yeah, I feel like so far the mortality was always quite... Like as, as with the next DLC with the plagues and so forth, this definitely should and might increase. Oh yeah. So um also we lost an alliance of course by this and why has she been tortured? By who by here in Phoenix? Are you kidding me? Lord Custanen, okay. And it looks like our Duke is losing Gwent, actually. So much going on. Uh, let's find a new spouse or like new maybe alliance for our daughter. And this is a massive one. It's a little bit insane. But it, this is like the, our biggest chance to basically secure our survival at the moment. And it might lead us to, in a way up, let's say. Here we get the Duchy of Mercia. I mean, this is also kind of a good one. The Dutch, the Duke of Mercia. Okay, he's, um, how strong is he? 1300 men. And basically, his second son could be married off to our daughter or the king. He has so much more power and would help us we, with his help. We could get independently easily and swear to him. Uh, yeah, the only question if I would, would be just me as a strategic player, I would definitely go ahead and do this. I mean, anyways, I try to join Alba now, but uh, as a role player that does somehow love his. Duke. Unhappy with Sian, of course. Kind of hard to tell. Nevertheless, I mean, the, the alliance will help us nevertheless. So let's do it and marry off our the next, our young daughter, being happy not to be married off the 60-year-old guy, 68-year-old uh, guy, but now the next one is in line. So. But I mean, she be, can become queen for a while. This is kind of big, so and of course no matrimonial marriage possible. Let's do it. Let's marry off our daughter. In two years, she became when she's grown up, she can can become queen yeah, of Alba. Um, yes, that's some. It's, it's it's something. Yeah, and we will meditate about the further steps in seclusion. I think since yeah, in my own castle. And see what happens. And here, I think, let's go endure hardship. That also fits us quite well. By the way, talking about enduring hardship, um, put back the increasing in control again. Yeah. Ooh. Um, and I think I'm gonna make my half brother seneschal again. Uh, not that uh, like ah no he's not that competent actually I think Wilmim is doing a good job why would I but let's give him a wife this is something I want to do ah yes the chancellor is still open sorry guys I got confused uh -oh. Selah, ah, she moved to, uh, she's the daughter of her in Derby, she just moved to our court, okay. Doesn't really fit, I think. Um, my niece, Morian. Come on, this, why not? And you, my marshal, oh, he also needs a wife. 
But he's quite old now, he doesn't. And uh, she's the wife of our brother, okay. Well, guys, uh, whew. and the next war starts. At this time, okay, this is a quite a clear one. Uh, peasant uprising where? Directly in the capital. I think this time we're gonna declare for the leech. Leech and ex actually destroy him ourselves, so gaining maybe some favors or some, some prestige over here, so no worries. You're welcome, my queen. This time I help you. But um, yeah, the main question is really well, how we're going to proceed in terms of our general situation. We do have, the, apparently he has still also the hook on us. We do like him, but uh, yeah, the situation is with one war after another where Wales is getting dim, uh, smaller and smaller. And we would like to survive over here. So, um, and of course, different is with its development and kind of a price in the environment as well. Um, just to give you a quick overview of the development once again, it is one of the most prosperous areas in the entire British Isles still. Um, yeah, okay, Somerset going to 19 is outspeeding us recently, probably due to the ratings going on. Okay, I meditated and got better in meditation, lost some stress, that's nice. But in general, it's okay, and Gwent was lost down here to... Um, Quais or to West Frankia in this case. Um, what I can tell you is uh, we have some beast sighting. Let's go for this. Maybe we go hunting when things calm down a little bit. But the main question remains how we're going to proceed in this setup. With the support of the King of Alba, potentially I can get independent and from first him and then maybe the Queen and then join Alba. Oh, by the way. <laughs> Is Sertising? Sertising, okay, yeah, yeah, he's still the, the he's still the similar guy, right? It's still Oh, he was also succeeded already. What the hell is happening in Cornwall? Inherited Conquered by Claimant. Ah, this was this war we just saw coming in. Oh sorry guys, of course, this is from from Neustria. Yep. So over here. Okay, the siblings, but this is gonna fall to West Frankie in the end too here, Cornwall. So apparently they moved over here, our former friends. Uh, our former friends and um, and uncle. Oh, I'm getting confused from all these things. And he is apparently also, he joined apparently Alba. So it's a kind of a normal move to uh, obey and become part of this northern kingdom. And uh, yeah, my, like I said, my guts are leading me to do this, but we'll see him. Reliving guard duty. Um, I'm here to relieve you. I hear one of my nearby guards say as he takes up his post. Another day, another coin. He, the other one says as he takes his leave. The work is the... The hard work is appreciated, yeah, these days. I'm a little bit soft. And yeah, with these huge questions, I'm gonna end the year. And... Okay. Our... Uh, yeah, acolytes have... Not acolytes. The... Accolades have ch uh, changed a little bit. Yeah, well, we'll find a successor for that one. And we quickly need a new marshal also since our great marshal has died. Um, who are we gonna take? In the end, he's the only one re really available. Simeon. He's Russian? Okay. Uh, nevertheless, maybe let's get him a wife also. Mercian one. Maybe he shall learn some English over here. Yeah, anyways, this is the end of the year and there's huge decisions to take for the end of this uh, millennia in the end because we're running to like 990 in a day. So last 10 years of this millennia incoming. Um, let me know what you would do. How shall I proceed? Tough times for us. And uh, yeah, I haven't decided yet. So a lot of interesting things to come. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and uh, letting me know your, your thoughts. And apart from this, of course, if you haven't yet, it would be fantastic if you leave me a like and subscription since it grows the channel, pushes me and doesn't cost you anything. Thank you very much for that. And uh, most importantly, see you next time in the next episode, which with when we see our great story of the year and if it continue, we are still alive and let's celebrate that. So I'll see you next time. Bye. Your strategy wolf.